In 28 years later, humanity fears the undead, but in real life, there are monsters that look dead, but are not. These monsters spread in silence, wrecking your organs, your mind, your strength. They're called zombie selves, and the invasion has already begun. But don't worry, engineers Effie Kakoli and Corina Amor Vegas are zombie hunters fighting this cellular decay. In the film 28 Years Later, society collapses when a mysterious virus turns people into screaming, rage-filled zombies. In your body, senescent cells or zombie cells pull the same move minus the screaming. Instead of dying like normal cells, zombie cells live on, spewing a cocktail of inflammatory compounds linked to Alzheimer's, arthritis, and other age-related diseases. Hello, circuiteers. Our first zombie cell hunter doesn't carry a bow and arrow like the hunters in the movie 28 years later. No, instead, she carries a gel infused with two common medications repurposed for war and the battlefield, which is basically cracked and crusty old aging skin, of course. In a world plagued by aging skin and wounds that won't heal due to senescent cells, also known as zombie cells, one engineer is fighting back. Meet Effie Kakoli, professor of chemical and biomolecular engineering at Whiting School of Engineering and a core researcher at John Hopkins Institute for Nanobiotechnology. Supported by the National Institute of Aging, Kakoli and her team have developed a temperature responsive gel that changes the story of aging at the cellular level by rejuvenating aging skin cells and enhancing collagen production. This zombie cell fighting gel is made of two common medications, Valsartan, a common blood pressure medication, and metformin, a medication used for diabetes. As our body ages, our natural healing mechanism slows down, largely due to collagen loss. It'll happen to you. Minor trauma can result in our skin tearing, increasing the risk of wounds, sores, and ulcers. Traditional treatments like antibiotics prevent infection, but they don't address the diminishing collagen production and old cells that just can't heal. In lab tests, zombie cell hunter Kakoli and her team of bad researchers discovered that metformin rejuvenated senescent cells, helping them regain function, multiply, and reduce signs of aging. They also found that Valsartan boosted collagen production in cells to Arrived from both young and old adults. Kakoli has said, although still in early experimental stages, this work lays the foundation for developing topical treatments that could improve wound healing and address age-related skin conditions in older adults. Now, circuiteers, what if you could train your immune system to hunt zombie cells forever? Well, our next zombie cell hunter is not just fixing the problems that come with aging, she's rewriting the code. In Laurel Hollow, New York, on Long Island, another battle is being waged at a private, non-profit institution named Cold Spring Harbored Laboratory. Meet Dr. Karina Amor Vegas, a bioengineer at Cold Spring Harbor, who pioneered a new use for CAR T cell therapy, which traditionally is a cancer immunotherapy that uses a patient's own immune cells to fight cancer. However, Dr. Vegas and her team engineered Sinolin CAR T cell therapy that uses modified immune cells to hunt and destroy zombie cells. After testing their senolytic CAR T cell therapy in aging mice, Dr. Vegas and her team found that treatment improved glucose tolerance and could deplete zombie cells in young mice and reverse liver fibrosis. Well. Dr. Vegas has said, with CAR T cells, you have the potential of getting this one treatment and then that's it. Think about patients who need treatment multiple times per day versus you get an infusion and then you're good to go for multiple years. Looking for your own zombie fighting starter kit? Well, look no further. These over-the-counter senolytic supplements are all the rage. They're designed to flush out senescent cells. Even though early studies have shown real potential, these pills aren't magic just yet. 
Effie Kakoli is focused on potentially restoring what time is trying to steal, and Dr. Karina Amor Vegas is working on teaching the body to remember how to fight. These engineers aren't chasing movie monsters, they're waging a war against aging. A war not rooted in fear, but one fueled by hope and the desire for a more youthful tomorrow for us all. If you enjoyed this week's episode of The Circuit, don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe for more incredible engineering news. Wait. It's really working. Thank you, engineers. And a special thank you to the Ming-Shei Institute at USC Viterbi for making this episode possible.